council of elders called, and I answered, the age of craftsmanship is finally upon us. My name is Tokia Matula. I am the anchor of the Gulda Ultimate Search, the age of craftsmanship. Now let the adventures begin. You know why you're so excited? For someone's achievement. As though you were the one bagging that achievement. Guys, that is the exact way that I feel about Toke's new gig. Hey! She has come a long way. Come on! Guys, good at Ultimate Search. They've been choking us for the past two weeks or more. You know, giving us goosebumps about this new season of the show. I've been waiting. I mean, people have been waiting. We've been anticipating. We've heard of the new Taskmaster, but we did not know who the new anchor of the season will be. And just a few days ago, Toke Makiwa was unveiled as the anchor of the show. That is huge. Oh my God. Hey, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Glory Elijah and this is Frankie Speaker with Glory. I am the girl with the T. And on this video, it's all about celebrating Toke Mackinwa's new gig with Gouda Ultimate Search. And of course, giving you guys more information about the upcoming show. The show is going to be starting 16th of October and there's a lot more you need to know about. But before I continue into that, please do well to turn on post notification for my channel, guys, because trust me, this is where you're going to be getting the most factual, detailed, accurate analysis about the show. And of course, Big Brother Niger season six just ended and we've not closed the chapter on those housemates just yet. So many more interesting gists, conversations will be arising about these housemates, new life, new reality. And if you want to find out about all of that, you totally need to stay glued to my channel. That said, let's start. Now guys, there are so many reasons why I'm excited for Toki Makewa. Listen, it's not easy to be doing a particular thing for over 10 years and you're still good at it and you're still relevant and you're still very much sought after by big brands guys Toki has come a long way oh. for those of you who do not know now some people know her on instagram some people know her to be a radio personality some people's first encounter of Toki was on big brother niger season six the boss on show max but guys what a lot of people do not know is Toki has come a long way She's been doing this presenting thing for as long as I can remember. I mean, the first time I personally encountered Toke Makinwa was on YouTube. Guys, <laughs> they used to drag Toke. Like, they used to drag her like, I don't know, is it like Momo? They used to drag Toke like Momo. Because, of course, she used to talk about very, very controversial conversations about relationships, about dating, about men especially. So, people called her a man hater stuff like that but then guys in the midst of all of that controversy in the midst of all of that dragging in the midst of all the insults she kind of built a way you know in her career and then i think as at that time as well she was also presenting on a radio station and aside that the next place i saw to kim akinwa was on ebony live tv um, as one of the presenters for moments with mo and Oh my god guys, I've been following this woman's journey for so long. Now aside to that, she also ventured into acting here and there, here and there. And guys, she's been doing great at it. Aside acting, she's also ventured into um, being the host for beauty pageants alongside Ebuka, her favorite Ebuka, Obi Uchendu. She's also been doing a lot of things guys. And then, when Gouda Ultimate Search unveiled her, as their new anchor the first thing that came to my mind the first picture that came into my mind was oh my god oh my freaking days we totally now have a new ebuka in the world of tv shows or reality tv shows if you want to call it that this is what i'm visualizing guys you know for big brother niger yeah we have ebuka the host yes 
who gives us information and details about voting, about um, biggest pranks, biggest twists, about how the show progresses, about nominations, about live evictions. He is in charge, basically, of carrying out the evictions of the show, yes, of introducing new housemates or anything, guys. Basically, he works on the forefront of the show, right? So, Evoca is basically the first person that we encounter before we now proceed into the house to hear Biggie's voice dishing out instructions to the housemate. So this is what Toke is going to be doing. If I am not wrong, correct me if I am wrong, but that was what I was just picturing that, okay, fine. So just as Ebuka is the frontliner for Big Brother Ninja, that is how Toke Makinwa is going to be the frontliner for Guda Ultimate Search, yeah? So all those things that Ebuka normally does, giving us information about the show, Toke Makinwa is probably gonna be doing the same thing. And guys, don't forget, the anchor is totally different from the task master because when the announcement was made a lot of people were confused or should i say kind of ignorant because people were just complaining unnecessarily i'm like guys you people should get the facts right anchor is totally different from task master all right now kunle remy is already the task master for the season of guda ultimate search and what the task master basically does is he dishes out the instructions for new games, you know, directs the participants for the show on how to execute the games. Basically, what Biggie does in the house is kind of, you know, what um, Kunle Remy is going to be doing with the participants for um, um, Gouda Ultimate Search. So, guys, Kunle Remy's position and Toke Makinwa's position it's completely different, different job descriptions, so people don't get it twisted, all right? And guys, it's so exciting. Like, I have this adrenaline rush in my head because the mere thought of, oh my God, this person is moving from a movie set straight onto the set of The Boss, which is the first ever season of that particular show on Show Max, you know, affiliated to Big Brother Niger, and then automatically moving on to another set another major set talking about a small set too. another major set guys that is huge because listen this is what i am foreseeing this is what i'm picturing as well what well, ultimate search is back like it never left this is something a lot of people don't even understand you see this season this period in nigeria in africa this is the period of reality tv show because people's cravings for entertainment guys it has grown like a large monster People are constantly seeking for new entertainment sources. I mean, we had Nigerian idols. We had The Voice Nigeria running at the same time as that show was running. And then right after, we had Big Brother Niger that ran for over two months. Look at the frenzy with which the viewing audience was, you know, consuming the content from that show. Now the show is over. The viewing audience, they are craving more entertainment. They are craving something, more distraction. And guys, that is where Ultimate Search, that's good at Ultimate Search, comes into play. And let me tell you all, it's not going to end again with just this one season. Now, nah, it's going to continue. So what I am seeing with Tokimaki was new endorsement is just as Ebuka has been able to build a brand with Big Brother Ninja, Tokimaki Wa is just about to start building our own brand with Gouda Ultimate Search. And guys, hey! These are the kind of things that I live to see. A lot of you might be wondering like, ah, Glory, why is this thing shocking you like this, guys? It's shocking me because I've mentioned quite a lot of times on my channel that Tokima Kinwa inspired me to start up my YouTube channel. Seeing one person that actually inspired me to start up this journey as well, or this channel as well, win, guys, for me, it's like it is my own win. And it's also giving me that element of hope that Tokima Kinwa is also a YouTuber. Gloria Elijah is also a YouTuber. So for me, what that means for me is, yeah, since my mentor is catching those bags, most definitely, me too, I'll catch my bags. <laughs> Guys, trust me, there's something I believe in this life, that sometimes new shows or new, new ventures are started off just so that they can showcase the talent of one particular individual. Somewhere in my head, guys, I feel very, very strongly that this new season of Gouda Ultimate Search did not just start because the organizers wanted to start it. I feel like the show also came back with a bang because Tokimakinwa's wish, her dream, 
had to be fulfilled. According to Toki Makinwa, she shared a bit of a testimony. She said in 2013 on her channel on YouTube, she had actually interviewed the five winners of the show from different seasons anyways. She'd actually interviewed them. She interviewed them. She had jokingly thought about it that, hmm, that what if one day I anchored the show? Guys, eight freaking years later, eh? Since 2013, no, eh? Eight years later, this is 2021. She's the one anchoring a new season of the show. Hey! Ude! Hello, everyone. Welcome to Talker Moments. This week, I'm doing something extremely different. I'm at Cafe Vanessa in Victoria Island, Lagos, and another season of Gouda Ultimate Search is about to begin. But right before the new season, I get the golden opportunity to chat with the past winners of the show. Now, when I was told that I was going to be doing this, I had no idea that the guys were, you know, buff, good looking, or so thank you that I got myself prepared. So joining me on set is Ezugo, Dominic, Michael, Oyekunle, and Christopher. Welcome to the show, guys. Oh my God, guys, I watched that video, and one thing I said to myself is, Gloria Elijah, your dreams are freaking valid. Your dreams are legit. Your dreams are valid. Eh? See eh? Hey! <laughs> Wish it. Want it. Work on it. Yes? Strive towards it. Trust me. It will happen. So once again, I just want to say a huge congratulations to Toke Makiwa. She deserves it. She has worked hard for it. She has paid her dues. And this is the time for her to get all that you know all that elevation that she deserves so guys um, remember the show is going to be starting on the 16th of october 16th of october is i think on sunday yes so stay tuned keep your fingers crossed gloria elijah is going to be giving you guys some juicy detailed factual accurate analysis of the show so don't go anywhere and i'll see you guys on another episode of francis pk with glory elijah thank you all so much for watching and have an amazing new week bye